Hello, my name is Anthony. I'm Amy. And welcome back to Break the Twitch. In this video, we're going to be talking about the tools and equipment we use to launch a podcast, the one that's coming out on July 25th. Break the Twitch. As we set about launching the podcast, we realized a couple of things that changed our original plan of sharing the process as we went along. Primarily, we couldn't share the name and other details of the podcast until we actually submitted and got approved for the name on all of the different podcasting platforms. That's why we actually uploaded episode zero before we're doing these how-to videos. In order to set up the podcast, you need a media hosting provider. This is where your podcast media files are housed. There are a lot of different options, but because we're already using WordPress for the Break the Twitch blog, we used a company called Blueberry. They have a really simple plugin that integrates directly with WordPress, and it made hosting the podcast really straightforward and easy. In fact, we've liked it so much that if you'd like to try Blueberry, you can go ahead and use the code break the Twitch, and you'll get a free month. And then it was time to record episode zero. There are a million different ways to record a podcast, both expensive and inexpensive, but I'd love to share exactly what we use to record the podcast here. To start out, this is the Shure SM7B radio broadcast microphone. It's super popular and one of the most famous radio broadcast ones. Holding up the microphone is this RA microphone stand. This is one I found out about after being on Matt Diavella's podcast. It's pretty nice for this one particular reason. It has this foam at the bottom that prevents sounds from hitting the table going up into the microphone. The biggest issue with this particular microphone is that it takes a lot of gain to get the level up high enough so that you can properly record. That's where these guys come in. These are cloud lifter amplifiers. They're raising the level from the microphones so that you can actually get a good level into the recording interface, which is next. This is my Apollo Twin recording interface from Universal Audio. This is a super popular interface as well because it has some amazing software processing features. The Apollo Twin is feeding into my MacBook Pro, which sits right here on my desk. Finally, another very industry standard thing, the Sony MDR-7506 headphones. I've had this pair for probably 10 years. They're just an amazing, flat, really great set of studio monitor headphones. And that's a high level overview of all the equipment that we use to produce this podcast. Of course, I'll put links to all the specific items in the description of this video as well. An important learning that we experienced was to double check the podcast feed. <laughs> If you have an existing blog, it's very likely that some of your blog posts are going to get mixed in with the podcast feed. So as you're submitting it to different platforms, make sure you check that it's only the podcast feed going out to the actual podcast. With episode zero recorded, media hosting provider set up, podcast feed set up, and a bunch of the considerations we mentioned in our previous video on starting a podcast, it was time to submit to the platforms. That's where people are going to listen to your podcast directly. In fact, you can go ahead and subscribe to the Break the Twitch podcast right now on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, and just about anywhere else podcasts can be found. If you have a specific podcast launch date in mind, it's important to give yourself some lead time, at least a week for just the approval from the platforms. Apple Podcasts took about two days and Google Play took the longest, took about seven days for us to get approved on there. So make sure you leave yourself plenty of lead time. That's a high level look at the tools and equipment that we used to launch the Break the Twitch podcast. You can go ahead and find the Break the Twitch podcast, which drops July 25th, anywhere podcasts are available. Just search Break the Twitch, or you can find out more at breakthetwitch.com slash podcast.